What is going on, everybody? George Bulldog Will here. I'm recapping today's uh, Jets Giants game. It was the first meeting between these two teams since 2019, and um, the Jets beat the Giants 13 to 10 in overtime. What a game this was! Um, it was an ugly one. The rain. It was pouring at MetLife Stadium. There was a tons of wind. Players were getting hurt. They were slipping on the field. It was a ugly, ugly game. But in the end, the New York Jets defeated the New York Giants 13 to 10 in um, the Battle of New York or the Battle of New Jersey, whatever you want to put it. I'm going to call it the Battle of New York. But um, yeah, the offense looked pretty bad today. But in the end, it came. The Zach Wilson delivered at the right moments some crucial passes to Alan, the crucial pass to Alan Lazard that got them inside field goal range which was able which was um which set up a 35 yard field goal for Greg Zerline which he nailed right through the middle to send this game to overtime <clears throat> but um let's go through how the game went so so Tyra so Tyra Taylor was originally the quarterback that was in for the um for the Giants but Tyra Taylor um he got he hurt his ribs. He had he 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 left the game with a rib injury, and he was taken to a nearby hospital, uh, with the uh for to be evaluated. Um, I don't like to see that. I I really did not like when I saw him down. I was like, oh no, that's not good. And yeah, it was bad. So then they end up bringing the third string court. Well, the original third string, because originally the starting quarterback's Daniel Jones. He was out for this game with a neck injury. Tyrod Taylor, the backup, and Tommy DeVito, the third string. But now he was the backup due to now with Taylor being the Tyrod Taylor being the starting quarterback, then Tommy DeVito would be the backup. So Tommy DeVito came in, and he only threw the ball like twice. Three times, two times, three times. Let's see. Box score. <clears throat> he threw it seven times and completed two passes. I think those two passes were like into the flat. So, yeah, they weren't really good passes. The Giants were running the ball a lot. I mean, Saquon Barkley got 36 carries. They ran the ball 52 times today. The Jets ran the ball 22 times. Yeah, the Giants were a run heavy. A a they heavily relied on their run game today, and I mean Saquon did all right. He got 36 carries for 128 yards. His longest run was a 34 yard um, rush. But um yeah, I mean the Jets defense played phenomenal. Uh, the one issue I had with the defense today was. The um, <clears throat> the um, the the Giants' first drive of the second half, and you had two horrible penalties, like the um, like the um, unnecessary roughness penalty on Jermaine Johnson. I was really angry after that penalty. I was like, "What are you doing?" And um, another penalty was Michael Clemens jumping offside on a punt. So yeah, that that really annoyed me, but. Um, the Giants scored first with a field goal, um, but then the Jets had a the Jets took the lead with a Brees Hall 50-yard touchdown reception from Zach Wilson. In fact, you want to know something? That touchdown was the Jets' first touchdown in the first quarter of the season. Up until now, we had not scored a scored a touchdown in the first quarter, and we finally did today against the Giants. Um, <clears throat> Then the uh, there was no score for the there was no no scoring in the uh, second quarter I don't think so really uh, oh no yes I mean no there was no scoring in the second quarter uh, but then in the third quarter Tommy DeVito ran in for his first NFL touchdown it wasn't a pass he ran in for his first ever touchdown in the NFL. Six-yard rush. Graham Gano made the extra point. Graham Gano was not good today. He made one... He, he missed two out of three of his field goals today. He... He missed... He missed a 57-yarder in the... 
in the first quarter. Well, in, no, in the second quarter. Um, and then he missed a field goal late in the game with 28 seconds remaining. And that gave the Jets just enough time to drive down the field after Lazard made the catch and got inside the um, got inside uh, field goal range, I was screaming at the team feet, spike it, spike it, spike it, spike it, spike it. And Zach Wilson, they spiked the ball with one second left, and it was just enough time for Greg Zerline to 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 to, to kick the 35-yard field goal, which he made, sending the game to overtime. But yeah, that missed field goal by Graham Gano was a big well, it cost of the, it cost of the Giants but what really cost the Giants was the pass interference penalty when when Zach Wilson threw down the field to Malik Taylor who we brought up from the practice squad I believe we we th we he threw down he threw down field to him and the Giants commit and then I saw the flags being thrown and I knew there it is pass interference and then the ball was placed at the spot of the foul and so I just thought, you know what? I was just thinking, you know what? Just kick the field goal. Get out of here. Like, just get out of here. The freaking field is an absolute. The field is an absolute mess. It's causing all sorts of injuries. Everybody's getting injured. We had, we had, we lost two centers today. Two centers got hurt. Um, and Al Woods got hurt today as well. Speaking of Al Woods. He suffered an Achilles injury, and his season is pretty much over. Uh, they'll evaluate him tomorrow, but an Achilles injury, that's putting you out for the season. So now, four Jets players this season have been hurt, have hurt an Achilles. Okay, let me, let, let's talk injuries later. But, um, uh, yeah. But, yeah. Going back to that pass to Malik Taylor, then the pass interference penalty was called, and then... We just brought out the we just brought out Greg Zerline. He kicked the 33 yard field goal, got it just inside the left upright, and the Jets won 13 to 10 in overtime. Unbelievable! That's our third straight win over the Giants. So sorry for getting a little off track early, but what I was saying was we suffer. We have a lot of injuries today. First of all, first and foremost, Connor McGovern got hurt. Our center he got hurt out for the rest of the game. Then we put in originally. Originally, our backup center would have been Joe Titman, but he was not active today because he hurt. He got he hurt his thigh in the game against the Eagles, and so instead we put Wes Schweitzer in as the center. He gets hurt, out for the rest of the game, and then we're down to essentially because Schweitzer was actually our third our third string center, and so then we put in. Um, <sighs> What was his name? Who did we put in as center? So, I forgot who we put in. I'm trying to think. I think his name was like Noom. Let me think. <clears throat> it was, um... Xavier Newman. That was it. Xavier Newman came in. He's our, like, fourth-string center, and we had to bring him in. His first snap was a drop snap. He literally, like, snapped it, and then, like, it was dropped. And then the Giants fell on top of it. The Jets turned the ball over twice today. Uh, first one was, uh, yeah, Zach Wilson fumble on the, Jets, on the Jets' first drive of the game. And then the second one was Xavier Newman's first snap, and Jets drop the ball, fumble it, Giants recover it. But, um, I mean, it was an ugly game. But you know what? A win is a win. The Jets are 4-3. and three. We're above 500. we We've won three straight games now, beating the Broncos, the Eagles, and now the Giants. We're 4-3. and three. We have the Chargers at home next week, who I'm watching right now. Uh, on Monday Night Football, so that's going to be interesting. But um, the injuries, yeah, Al Woods, he's now he got hurt in this game. Uh, Connor McGovern obviously got hurt, and uh, Wes Schweitzer got hurt. We'll see what we'll see about those other two. But Al Woods hurt his Achilles. 
out for the season. That's four Jets players now out for the season with an Achilles injury. Aaron Rodgers, who might actually return, uh, which is crazy. I'm going to make a video about this of, can Aaron, will Aaron Rodgers actually return this season? Because I, I want to discuss that. Um, two, um, well, this was actually, his, his Achilles injury wasn't the first one that occurred. The first one that occurred was over the offseason. I think it was like during training camp or maybe during the OTA. I think it was training camp. Uh, whatever it was, Chuck Clark got hurt. Um, he hurt his Achilles, and now he and then he was out for the season. Oh, he suffered his. Oh no, he suffered a torn ACL. It was a torn ACL during the um, during the um, OTAs. But uh, yeah, I mean whatever. Um, but then uh, yeah, Aaron Rodgers hurt his Achilles against the Bills. Um, then, um, but then, um, what was it? It was, um, Aaron Rodgers, then Elijah Vera Tucker, and now Al Woods. So, yeah, um, the Achilles, man, the MetLife turf sucks. I really hope the Jets move out of MetLife in 2025. I'm sick of the Jets playing at MetLife. First of all, MetLife is in a horrible area. East Rutherford, New Jersey, that's the only good thing in freaking in, in, in that area of New Jersey. Outside of it, that freaking area is a dump. And MetLife, the field sucks. They may have changed the turf, but it still sucks. I hope the Jets, I hope... Woody Johnson and John Mara know that. Woody Johnson, the owner of the Jets, and John Mara, the owner of the Giants. I hope they know that, that the turf still sucks. Go to natural grass next year, or hopefully the Jets move out in 2025, and then we'll leave the Giants at MetLife. We move out, the Giants stay. One's got to go. One leaves and one stays. The Giant, Either the Giants leave and the Jets stay, or the Jets leave and the Giants stay. And I hope it's the Jets leaving and the Giants staying. So anyway, the Jets beat the Giants 13-10 in overtime. Uh, GG to all the Giants fans. Uh, I know a few. Jared, uh, GG man. Um, Bad Dog Sports, I know him too. Um, but yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm feeling pretty good about this team, but there's a lot of things we got to clean up. So I'd like to see that next week against the Chargers. But anyway, yeah, Jets are 4-3. and three. We play the Chargers next week on Monday Night Football. I'll see you guys later, and go Jets.